Hello, in today's video I am showing two games that didn't come in the correct condition that I paid for on eBay. eBay recently has been really bad with um, getting games in the condition that I want and also the prices. Now, you're looking at this one and thinking, what's wrong with that? That's sealed. Well, move this one out of the way and I'll show you what's wrong with it. See, it's all sealed, looks good, but in the past, someone has stolen this from a place like HMV, because HMV always had these security tags on their games, so I can't use it. It's completely fucking useless. Now, I've heard, though, if you get a magnet, you can pull this out, so try and get a magnet and then... Uh, and start playing it. But you know, you think that's bad. Now check this out. Now um this is not the case that actually came with this game. Um I had this game already but I wanted to buy another one to get a better book. So you see this is all perfect condition. Now I'll show you the one that actually came with it. God in my bag. Now uh, So this is the one that turned up. You know, this case is not bad at all. And uh, what I wanted to replace was the cartridge because the cartridge, you see the label? The print on it's quite manky. And also the label's peeling off, but um, I managed to glue it down. But this is my original book and uh, you see that? It's water damaged. And it's like really rock hard. It looks very nice there. Though. Right, and then look inside my mint case one. Uh, I've got a nicer cartridge here. See the uh, printer's a lot nicer there. No uh, mould spots. And then you've got this book. And this is where everything goes wrong. Now this book looks really nice on the top of it. And on the back, check this out. Open it up. See? <laughs> Inside, it's going yellow there and manky. But the further you get into it, look. And do you know what that is? Do you know what this is? This is blood. There's blood on my video game that I got from eBay. And and the seller didn't even put this in the description. See? It's affected a few pages. It's disgusting. Look at it. It's just dried on blood. Absolutely disgusting. And didn't even put this in the description. Thing is that if they put this in the description, I wouldn't have bought it. Because that is absolutely disgusting. And look, you can see how it's uh, it's damaged the uh, the ink on this page, especially on that one. So it's worn the right in a way. But you know, when it's closed, it's a perfect condition book. Uh, really, though, I'd rather have this one with a bit of blood inside of it than this one that's water damaged and it's rock hard. But yeah, it's really, really annoying. You know, and it's not um, it's not cheap buying this stuff either. I just wish uh, people wouldn't keep lying about uh, the condition of the stuff because it gets really, gets really annoying. So uh, yeah, that's the end of this video. But before I um, end it. I forgot something. I better... There's going to be a part two to this video because I've just replaced this bare knuckle three. Now this one is just a fake cover. It's just a printed cover, but the game inside of it is real. 
Now I bought a new one from Japan that's supposed to be in perfect condition. It's got an original cover. It's got the manual, it's got the cartridge, obviously, you know, the game inside of it. But it's also got a poster that has all these special moves on it, stuff like that you, that you can do in the game. So, yeah, fingers crossed that goes right. And what I'll do is I'll open it up on camera and we will see if that actually comes in good condition. Because if it doesn't, then uh, I'm done with eBay and I'm not buying anything else on it because it is a complete fucking waste of money when every time I buy something it doesn't come in the condition that I paid for. You know, I always double check the pictures, I always read the description and it's always a lie. It's either a stolen photograph from like somebody's eBay, you know, page or, you know, they're just... Um, taking it off google images and and then you get it and it's just not even in the same condition like it's not even the same game whatsoever so yeah so uh hopefully that goes all right because uh this wasn't cheap the other bare knuckle free it cost 210 pound so very expensive so yeah so it'd be a part two to this video where hopefully this will come in perfect condition so uh Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.